Are you having issues opening a project that you've made changes with on Xcode 16 or later? If so, you might be out of luck with trying to reopen that project on Xcode 15. And I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Hey, what's up? This is Paul Solt from Super Easy Apps and let's get started. So I've been kind of living on Xcode 16 betas for the past several months, just sort of playing around with the new features. And one of those things that I just hit a rough wall against was being able to open my Xcode project. Now I still don't have it fully working, but I think I have the fix. We're gonna see if that works in this video. And if it doesn't, I'm gonna have to try and figure out what else is causing problems. Now there's two things that I'm doing in my project. One, I rearranged a ton of files and two, uh, I am playing around with um, Swift testing, but I don't have that in this test project. And I wanna show you an example of what's going on. I got some hints I posted on Reddit um, because I was kind of mystified as like, what's causing this backwards compatibility issue? And so I got some feedback from people and we're gonna dive into it. So it turns out that there is a, um, a new feature in Xcode 16 beta, and I'll grab a link to this so that we can have that, that um, prevents us from doing everything the same way. So this is a new, and I don't know what I just did because that totally moved. Okay, hold on. Project management. I don't know why that bumped around. I must have clicked something. So Xcode 16 has this new feature that there's a couple fun things. Like you can create a new empty file from your clipboard, which is amazing. And I'll have a separate video on that. And they're treating stuff differently, sort of from a Swift Packager mindset of let's just have the folder and not sort or do any of that type of stuff. So it's just gonna be alphabetical based on what's in the folder contents. That stuff doesn't get synced so that you have less merge conflicts is kind of the idea. The problem is some of these features break backwards compatibility with previous versions of Xcode, and that's non-obvious when you're just using it. And I think there's two situations that have happened, and maybe they've sort of changed their stance on this because I created a sample project here. So this is a sample project. I'm able to open it on both Xcode 15 as well as Xcode 16. So I've got Xcode 15.4 over on the left, and then I've got Xcode 16 over on the right. And I created this project, I believe with Xcode, I created it with Xcode um, 15. So it set the minimum target to Xcode 14. And I had no issues opening it either way, but there's some new menu options that you have to be aware of. So in Xcode, previously we've done a new group and a new group without folder and new group from selection. So these are the options that we've had to work with. I thought there was a way to add an existing folder as well, but I'm not seeing that option for some reason. Oh, maybe it's if you actually add the files to Xcode project, you can add an existing folder. Um, so you've got these different concepts and then Xcode 16 is doing something different. So if we just look at that real quick and then I'll get back to what has changed. We'll see new group, new group from selection, new folder, new folder from selection. Then you can also do a, if you hold the option key, you can do a new group without folder. Some of these are gonna be backwards compatible and some of them are not. And I'm still trying to wrap my mind around like which ones are which. Um, and we'll sort of get into that. So let's talk about these changes. The important ones are down here that are gonna impact us and it's these two changes. So it's gonna minimize the project file changes and avoid version control conflicts with a buildable folder reference. So we've got a buildable folder reference that I, I think prevents you from sorting. You won't be able to sort your files manually. It'll just be whatever's in the folder contents. Um, but, the entire folder is then buildable. And then I guess it, all the files are potentially added to target. And so we'll have to take a look at that. So like typically we would add a file individually to the target on the file inspector. So we can see the target membership of where these files are. Um, in the new one, 
we're going to see that those options are different. So we've got a little bit of different iconography, like the app icon's bigger here. Um, and the folders were showing up a little bit differently, but I think that depends on which way I create them. Okay, so this is the um, this is one project, and there's this option to convert an existing group to a buildable folder with convert to folder in the context menu and the project navigator. Buildable folders only record the file folder path in the project file without enumerating the contained files. And then this is supposed to minimize the diffs to the project when files are added, removed, and avoids source control conflicts with your team. That helps a little bit. Usually those aren't too hard um, to address. So I don't know. Uh, I think this is going to blindside a lot of people if you accidentally include this and you're trying to still support Xcode 15 because you're not ready to migrate to Xcode 16, which is still in beta. To use a folder as an opaque, copyable resource, the default behavior before Xcode 16, uncheck the build folder contents option in the file inspector. I cannot find this, but maybe it's because I need to be on a certain one. Um, Unless it's in here. I'm clicking on the file inspector and none of these are showing that. So I'm wondering, I don't really know which, I, the icon is gonna change depending on which one we have. Okay. And then the other one here is the project navigator now defaults to creating groups with associated folders when using the new group and the new group from selection commands. To create groups without folder, hold the option in the context menu to reveal new group without folder. And that is what I have sh shown you already, okay? So now getting back to the problem, what caused this issue where I can't open a project on a previous version of Xcode? That I believe is because I had blue folder icons. So right now these are gray. Now I am colorblind, so I'm assuming these are gray and not some tint of a color. So we'll assume that is gray. And then I had my brew coffee app open. And here you'll see that I've got two potential instances of a blue folder here, which we show in Finder, I believe is a is a buildable folder. So I can't sort this anymore. Does it let me? Versus like this one, utility. I can sort by name or I can sort by type. I can't sort this because these are just going to be sorted alphabetically by default, I think. So I think that's my problem. If I try and open this, so if I go to Xcode and I try to open Brew Coffee, we'll get that project cannot be open because it's in a future Xcode project file format. Adjust the project format using a compatible version of Xcode to allow it to be opened by this version of Xcode. So presumably, if the only change I need to do is convert this to a group or a folder. Now that's super confusing. Okay, so I'm seeing two options. So I'm back in, this should be, I'm in Xcode 16 beta six. Maybe it's a different concept of a fold. I don't, if we convert this to a group, this is a pre-flight conversion to a folder and then there's convert to group. Let's see what pre-flight does. So it says data is ready to be converted. And if we just show this in Finder, like all I was trying to do was organize stuff. Um, so let's, I don't know which one I want. I think it's just convert to group. So then it becomes the gray icon. And then let's convert this one to group. This one doesn't offer the option to convert to folder, which is odd. Um, okay. Crossing my fingers, we are going to see if we can open the project now. There we go. Okay, so that worked. 
fixing my project so that I could open it again. Um, I'm still a little confused in the terminology here because it feels there's like three different three different things. So if I close that again, okay, so that fixed our issue. So now let's take a look at my sample project. In the sample project, if I do a new folder here, we get one of those blue icons. The moment I do that, this project cannot be opened anymore and it's failing to load that container. So if I convert this one to a group, then we go back over here, we can open it again. But I could also have a new group without folder, which then has this little, it's kind of a triangle in the bottom left corner. New group. Can I not edit it? Okay, so that's a new group without folder. This is a new, what did this turn into? And is this in here? So test is in here. And since this is a group, I can rearrange it. But if I convert this to a folder, then it has to, it's going to tell me that that has to match exactly to convert a group to a folder. So I'm like, okay. Does that mean this needs to move out? I'm not sure. I think so. So you can't have a group without a folder on the inside. And then again, that breaks that breaks Xcode 15. So if I convert this back to a group, we can open it in Xcode 15. But I swear I could do groups without folders here, right? So that's not a problem. Did that work or not? Or was that a new group? It sure looks like a new group. Yeah, someone's not liking me. I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> the icons are changing on me. Like it shows up with a little triangle. We'll do test one. Once I create it, it the triangle disappeared. If I show on Finder, Is new. I just broke something. Did it not rename? And then I swear if we go into here, We add this one. If I do a folder reference, is that the same thing? So I can have I can have a folder reference here, and that works fine, and that appears as a blue group here, but that blue when created from Xcode in a different way breaks the project from opening. And let's just test if we can like close this and open it up again. Like so far it seems to like just open up like we expect uh, and then get stuck if it can't. Um, when I, I don't know what I'm hitting on the edge here. Oh, the size is different. Okay. Um, so this is a little bit weird. So, Don't use folders if you need backwards compatibility, I think is the takeaway because they're not compatible backwards. But some of the iconography still exists depending on how you add it here, which is the confusing part to me. Um, 
So that's one of those things that you have to keep in mind. Uh, and then when I was researching this a little bit more, I think they were doing this by default. So that's my sample project. And if you bear with me, then we can open up my, I had a demo project. Now I created this with Xcode 16 beta four. And you'll notice that this has those folder icons. I can't re whoops. I can move files around. Didn't mean to do that. Oh no. Of course, I can't undo whatever. I don't know where that was. Was that up here? No, I thought it was in here. Okay, weird. Um, so I've got this folder, and if I try to open this in Xcode, so this is my coffee recipe demo, it can't open this one. Now, this one was created with Xcode 16, so its minimum version is set to Xcode 15. So it's backwards compatible one version by like right out of the gate. But these folder references, I think, are causing it to not work. So if I then convert to group, that converts all of the sub ones to group. And now can I open that test project? I think the only other thing is I'm I'm actually using Swift data here, so I don't think it will load, but we'll find out. And I think the Swift data is probably Oh, I still have a folder here. So convert to group. That might break Swift data. So, because Swift data is supposed to just sort of detect the tests. I don't really know. So then if we come back into here, still can't open it. Did that break my... Just need a simulator here. I thought I had, oh, I have new simulators now. My guess is that having Swift testing is going to be the other thing that if I were to take that out, I don't know how it's configured right now, but this is using Swift testing. So I'm guessing that that's preventing it from being opened, but of course it doesn't give me doesn't give me any details. So. Um, hopefully this is helpful and hit the like button if you're running into this problem of these folders. Um, so the big thing, is that you need to know how to create folders. Um, don't break things. Uh, obviously, I'm breaking things here. Um, so it seems like if you if you want the old behavior, you may or may not. I think this maybe they went back on it. I didn't see any references when I was looking in the release notes. So I tried to search for uh, the nope. That's still not it. I tried to search for folder. And all the changes for folder are here. So let me know if you figure anything out about this, um, if you can get this to work in your app, or if you run into issues with Xcode 16, you can just comment down below and we'll see if we can figure out this together. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.